McNabb signed a five-year, $78 million extension in November. Uh, the latest example of why football is funny money because he has a $3.5 million buyout. He'll see none of that money if the Redskins just let him go. If they trade him, he'll have to restructure to become uh, a Viking. So two questions. Should McNabb become a Viking? Will it be a good move for the Vikings? Well, first of all, let's get to the real issue here. I've seen Donovan McNabb's new house. It is spectacular. Uh, I was always wondering whose house that was because it's about two miles from mine. And I've seen this thing go up. I go, Where is, is this it? a castle? In Arizona? It's in Chandler, Arizona. It's suburban Phoenix. Uh, Donovan McNabb is someone you'll see at uh, the Lifetime Fitness in the area. Whatever the, his East Coast team, whether the Eagles nice or Vikings have a plug. Nice to veteran plug there. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Although you should have added in, I, I would have coached you up. One of the many celebrity athletes you'll see at the Lifetime fitness centers the one of the numerous lifetime fitness centers all exactly. around the country right you know but when you are talking the number one health and fitness facility in the country <laughs> uh, you are going to see a-list celebrities you're going to see athletes they're picked it. up game starts McNabb loves to play basketball he'll mix it up not as tall as you might think right. but he likes to get in the gym and mix it up you know it's a good move for the vikings it is okay because he was completely done with those east coast teams could not have been in two worst teams for him to be on the last two years, Philadelphia and Washington. Now, we keep saying about this guy that he needs a fresh start, but you know what? For whatever reason, he's got a personality that people don't like. I, I don't know what ticks off Bernard Hopkins or some of these other people that have to write rap songs about how much they hate Donovan McNabb, but I think if his head's on straight, I think he's got another year for sure. And are you if, if you compare that to a rookie who's in completely over his head, you know, oh, I, I think it's a good move for Minnesota. Well, Plus, and also, really also it's a great move because whatever Ponder becomes, he now gets to learn under a veteran quarterback, Malik McNabb. By the way, I do know why so many players feel so strongly against Donovan McNabb. He puked in the huddle in his Super Bowl. Come on, Tom. That's just That's unacceptable so behavior. Oh, really? What, is he supposed to carry an airbag or a, a bag from the airline with him? No, your leader is puking at the key moment. Come on, boys, let's storm this hill. Blech. I mean, you that's unacceptable behavior. Hey, here's the deal. There must be something about him, though, because you don't hear other athletes call out athletes like they felt the liberty point. to with right. McNabb. Say what you want about Terrell Owens, but the guy's a competitor, and he does want to win. He recovered from that broken leg to play in the Super Bowl pretty damn fast. So there must be something about Donovan. Maybe it's, he's just one of those guys that's good enough to get you close, and that's about it. And then maybe the moment becomes too big for him. And I think that might be an Maybe. accurate way to describe it. It's a, it's a legitimate debate. It's actually the LeBron debate since, until he wins a championship, even though he's not, McNabb might not be as high profile as LeBron. All right, let's move on to another quarterback, Matt Hasselbeck. I'm going to make a definitive statement, and I'm going to see how you feel. Normally you disagree with these statements, but I'm not sure how you're going to go with this one. Don, okay. uh, Matt Hasselbeck is 35 years old, but he's still got a lot of football left. I know it. I think the Tennessee Titans, I'm, I'm not going to say I think, the Tennessee Titans will make the playoffs, and the Tennessee Titans will win a playoff game with Matt Hasselbeck as their quarterback. And Jake Locker, the quarterback that they drafted, will be a much better quarterback in the long run because of it, because he's learning from a guy like him who started on the bench behind Brett Favre. He's now a Tennessee Titan. That's the news of the day. Your thoughts? Okay, here, Tip, you know, this, is, well, this one's easy. This one's an easy. This is a layup. This is a softball. Uh, you, your uh you're saying that because Hasselback is from the Boston area. He's You're from typical, Norfolk, Massachusetts. East, That's right. Uh, there you go. You see, all I need is someone's bio. And I can see your East Coast snobbery weave its way in. Stearns, you know as well as I do, Hasselback was nothing until he came into the arms of Pete oh, Carroll. Oh, stop you know it, what? will you? He oh, took the team to a Easter. Super Bowl without Pete Carroll. Did he win that Super Bowl? Oh, stop it. Did Stop it. it. Did he win a division with Pete Carroll, Stop the former it. University of Pacific athlete? Yes, he did, Stearns, when no one expected You can make it. this Pete Carroll Nobody. West Coast versus East Coast all you want, but you know that Matt Hasselbeck is a good quarterback. You know it, Tom. Well, I, I know he's a darn better, a much better quarterback after having the ability to be coached by Pete Carroll. So, yes, if he can take some of that with him to Tennessee. By the way, who's the coach at Tennessee? Did they get rid well, of we just, you know, we, we just had a guy named Jimmy Young on right before you a little while ago. He, uh he, um, he runs a website called Music City Miracles, and we asked him all about that. And I was about to ask him how Hasselbeck is going to fit with Jeff Fisher. And I had to remind myself that Mike Munchak is now the head coach of the Tennessee Titans. Hey, here's your bottom line, Stearns. You know this as well as I do. Um, this is going to be a weird NFL season. Teams that have had some sort of semblance of togetherness, haven't changed quarter coordinators or head coaches, do have an advantage. Think about it. 
we don't know who the head coach of Tennessee is. I bet half their roster doesn't either. So they have to get used to a new voice, new philosophies, new systems. It's changing. It, those teams are at a huge, huge disadvantage because as soon as they report to camp, they're getting ready for games, and they have to be thinking about their first cutdowns. You know, losing these OTAs is going to show on the field. That's why, man, look at Green Bay, man, with the with everybody coming back, with a great leader at quarterback. They have such an advantage. Right. They're going to have a great year if they can stay healthy.